This one is called My Lovely America. Ooh. Anybody in here proud to be an American? Yep. Yes. 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 Well, I hope it stays that way after this. <laughs> 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 it's amazing how much things have changed. From we the people in America, the land of the freely enslaved. All cultures bound by social chains, they want to remain individual in a collective of minds that all think the same. A show of hands, who wants a job or has a job? I need one. Okay, cool. Okay. Job, the newest form of slavery, we are now chained to the paycheck in hopes that we will be able to touch the American dream. People from all over the world travel here to get a job. J-O-B, just over broke. Slaves keeping the socioeconomic status of America's big ideal wheel turning, but then maybe it isn't so different after all. America was built on the lives of slaves. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. That whenever any form of government becomes destructive of these ends, it is the right of the people to alter and abolish it. And institute new government laying its foundation on the principles and organizations and such powers that people form everything. We the people. We the people have the right to overthrow the government and its misuses and abuses of power. And we have that proof in writing. So I constantly wonder why people don't want to make change. See, I think human rights and the rights of Americans should be taught should be a class taught in school, somewhere under history, language, or biology. Then maybe people will begin to understand that the differences that have caused wars are the phenotypic manifestation of a genetic sequence that varies only 0.1% between human race. Maybe children will learn history is rarely an argument of fact but one of semantics because history and his story are never the same, but this is America, where education is ranked 37, but our twerking videos are number one on YouTube globally. <laughs> Where the only acceptable form of education has to be bought. Talk about reverse psychology, we are paying our way back into slavery. Anybody here have college loans? Yeah. 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 Sally Mae, I'm telling you. <laughs> what happened to the home of the brave? Brave enough to dream, which by definition is pursuing what others deem impossible. After all, Apple and Google were created by amateurs, but professionals built the Titanic. People brave enough to reach out and cause change, but this is America, where football players make more than first responders. Hockey players make more than teachers, and baseball players, Jeter, his last game was like today, makes more than the President of the United States. America, where healthcare is a business, and prison is an industry, where law enforcement is synonymous with brutality, where people don't expand their vocabulary, ratchet is a tool to fix things, not to describe <laughs> something. Yes! 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 America, home of the hypocritical prejudice. We are one nation under God with liberty and justice for all, as long as you pay a fee and hand over your rights and dignity. It's easy to point fingers and say that this is the result of a sociological institution and it's too difficult to change. But see, we the people of the people and by the people. We are this institution that give the government power, supplying its corruption that flows through thick veins. We are the only ones who can stand up and cause change. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure, and there is nothing enlightened about shrinking your intelligence so that others won't feel insecure around you. As we liberate ourselves, we unconsciously give others the freedom to do the same. Marianne, Wils Marianne Williamson. But see, this isn't taught in schools. America, where parents work nine to five and five to nine, and children turn to rap music for life lessons. They say music is rhythmically transcribed history of a generation. And our top grossing artists are Lil Wayne, Nicki Minaj, Justin Bieber, Miley Cyrus, Young Buck, and Soldier Boy was one of them. If each generation is inspired by one before, I am afraid good music will never come back. If each generation is inspired by the one before, I'm afraid we might never be free again. This cycle has gone on for centuries. Slavery adapting and evolving, taking root in our ignorant complacency. All hope will be lost, but education is the key. Educate young minds on responsibility, pride, and the rights in the American Constitution. Please understand that I love this country and would die for this country. This is America, the land of those who aspire to achieve, where it is not illegal for a girl to chase her dreams, a land of hope and resilience. We the people live in the land of opportunity, but what is an opportunity what is an opportunity's worth if it is not taken? Read the fine print. Patriotism is not blind by any means, so open your eyes to reality, look around and say, this is America. Now let's educate ourselves so our minds can be free. Woo. Woo!